Summit Ridge was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps as a lookout cabin. The lookout's across the road here, and this is where your lookout people would stay overnight. The uh, lookout tower is still manned when we reach extreme fire danger, but the cabin isn't used by the Forest Service for overnight. So for the last 10 years, we've rented the cabin to the public. And it's part of a nationwide cabin rental program in the Forest Service. This is the only cabin on the Black Hills for rent. It, things went into a higher gear as far as repairs um, about 2005, and that's when we uh, retained fees um, by the rental uh, of the cabin to put back into the cabin to repair it and, and fix it up. And that has increased uh, since then, uh, primarily because of federal legislation that allows us to retain recreation fees to maintain uh, the facilities that we collect fees on uh, through something called the Recreation Enhancement Act. Well, last year our big project was the roof. The roof, the rain gutters, the fascia boards, um, re uh, flashing the chimney and the ridge cap, and uh, we had historic shingles on here and we replaced our historic wood shingles with new wood shingles that are also fire resistant so it has increased fire resistance uh, plus it's being maintained to a historic uh, integrity of its original construction. Last year um, we paid for the roof and uh, we also had a little extra so we spent that little extra to buy a solar kit which allows us to have solar lighting inside here. Um, it's only for lighting, it's not for any plug-in devices. Um, the, the solar lights themselves will be a, a LED uh, type of light that has a very low power draw, but it will allow um, folks to use the cabin and, and turn the lights on versus using a Coleman lantern or a, a candle some open flame which could potentially burn the cabin down. So that's a concern and we want to have not only um, you know good lighting but a, a safe cabin and uh, for the public and to preserve the buildings. This toilet is designed for maximum airflow uh, which is why they call it a sweet smelling toilet or SST design. It's a cement toilet but you wouldn't know it looking at it. It looks like lap siding. It is stained a Forest Service brown like all our buildings but when you walk up to it and you actually touch it you realize it's cement. It's made for very low maintenance. The inside is epoxy coated um, paint so you can basically pressure wash the entire building. It has the, the great airflow um, the turning radius is five feet so you can get in there with a wheelchair without assistance. And of course there's uh, grab bars for disabled people. The height of the toilet is designed so you can um, get on and off the stool with uh, no assistance uh, in a wheelchair. The width of the door is wide enough for a wheelchair so it's designed for disabled person access. Our new fire grade is of a height so you can be in your wheelchair and have the fire and feel the warmth of the fire. We are booked solid, uh, particularly in the spring for the hunting and fall for the hunting. There are usually a couple weekends open in the summer at the start of the year, but you want to make your reservations early because it's busy uh, from about Oh, mid-April, end of April, uh, through the end of October. We have all four service employees and contracted help. We don't have volunteer help at the moment um, doing any cabin maintenance. I will say 
the people who stay here have uh, a, a great love and I think it's a special place to a lot of people who rent this cabin. I know it is and they take care of the cabin um, whether that's to restock the firewood um, or to sweep the cabin. We have very few problems and we have very low maintenance here because people leave the place as nicer and nicer than they find. So in a way they love it and they're taking care of it.